good morning thanks for joining me i hope everybody's well um this is a very spur of the moment video my glasses are steaming up <laughs> standard um this is a very spur of the moment video it's sort of around something i've been discussing a little bit in my weekly vlogs and i felt like it needed a little bit more discussion a little bit more um explanation possibly and it's a subject that i think about i think probably a lot of youtube creators think about or content creators generally not just on youtube but i think it's something that is at the forefront of a lot of people's mind and um unfortunately online hate is something that we all have to deal with um e even as a user of facebook you know not even as a content creator you know you go on facebook in an average day and my god the way people speak to each other is just unbelievable in a lot of instances anyway let me give you a little bit of background on what why i'm discussing this subject today sorry i feel like you're a little bit not at the right angle it will probably even itself out in the edit oh the camera's probably doing it itself anyway it's probably just my dodgy eyesight let me put my glasses back on so the reason we're discussing this is that recently if you watch my videos regularly you will know that i have made the decision to turn off um comments in a lot of my clothes trying on videos my try on and haul videos for various different brands of clothes that i do fairly regularly a couple of times a month sometimes three um and i've turned off the comments on those the reason that i've done that recently and i said it was a temporary thing when I first did it was because um, my dad died recently and I haven't had the best 12 months. The last 12 months have been challenging in many ways in my personal life. And um, I just didn't feel like I was in the mental place to want to deal with nasty, hateful, aggressive, abusive comments. And unfortunately, those types of comments are a fact of life on YouTube when you put yourself out there. You, you do get those. I mean, I'm fairly lucky. I don't get loads and loads, but a week doesn't go by without some form of unpleasantness. Let's just put it like that. Um, and let's just, just to be very clear, I am not talking about constructive criticism. I am talking about the aggressive, deeply unpleasant, deliberately mean, abusive, a type of comments those things so recently as i said i've been turning them off on the try on videos they, they did stay on on a roman hall video last week i have to physically go and turn them off and i just simply forgot on that one but that was why they're on on that one anyway i asked you guys in last week's vlog um what your feelings were about it i explained that i was toying with the idea of turning off the comments on clothing videos on a permanent basis um i personally felt that the the comments on those types of videos don't really add to the conversation in the same way as comment the comment section on for example a weekly vlog um if i make a weekly vlog i talk about all sorts of different subjects and then you guys weigh, weigh in in the comments about those subjects and we get some conversation going um and it's, it's like a coffee morning with a friend like that's the type of comment section that i absolutely love and i enjoy chatting to you in the comments and then perhaps coming back in, in the, the next video and picking some items out of them that i want to share with you that i thought think are really good tips or ideas or th food for thought and that that sort of comment section i think is brilliant but i don't really perceive a value in the comment section on a clothing video where you're going i like the blue dress but i didn't like the red cardigan or it's not really adding to a conversation is it it's all just opinion i mean everything's just opinion when it comes down to it anyway in last week's weekly vlog i asked you to let me know what you thought about permanently turning off the comments on clothing videos and i think it's fair to say that there was um a, the vast majority of you said either that you would like them turned off or you wouldn't like them turned off or you didn't bother you either way but i had i should do what was right for me which was really kind of you that is my cat sneezing in the background he's very sneezy apologies if you can hear him um yeah most of you said that you did thought i should do whatever worked best for me um but a lot of you said that you did like the comment section on and that a couple of people said as well 
hence the title of this video, um, that I shouldn't let the haters win. And I thought that was a really interesting discussion point and one that I wanted to come back on a little bit. Sorry, I shouldn't fiddle with my hair. It's very irritating to watch people fiddle with their hair, isn't it? And um, you see, I don't see turning off the comments that is letting the haters win. And I want to try and explain why that is. Just before we get into that though, I want to mention a couple of things that people say very regularly as well. Just ignore the trolls is a very regular one. It's not as easy as that, unfortunately. It's not as easy as just ignoring um, a hurtful, deliberately hateful comment. Sometimes you are not in a mental place to be able to do that. Sometimes you are, sometimes you're not, but ignoring it is not always easy, unfortunately. The second thing that you suggest very regularly is can't you just block them? Well, yes, I can block them from commenting any further, but unfortunately I don't know that they need blocking until they've left a hateful comment, which I've then read. So that's kind of um, difficult because yeah, you can block them as soon as they've left one hateful comment or if you want to, but um, yeah, that doesn't stop you having to read it in the first place. So, so hopefully that sort of explains those two points that I... Right, let's talk a little bit about the idea that haters are winning if I turn off the comments. What happens if someone, if I'm not monitoring the comments closely and a very unpleasant comment gets through and sits there and with the best will in the world, sometimes on the day that a video goes live, particularly if it's a weekend or my Sunday videos, I'm off doing something else. I try and keep an eye on the comments all the time, but I don't always get a chance to. And um, if a hateful comment gets through, a lot of you for coming from a really good place will want to defend me and you will jump in and say, how how dare you say that about Caroline or don't say that and then that comment that hateful comment gets pushed to the top of the comment section because someone's replied to it you know defending me for the right reasons but um, it just then makes the comments such a negative place and that's the first comment that people will come across when they scroll down into the comment section because the hateful ones get replied to so YouTube thinks they're popular and pushes them up to the top um, and so in a way removing the comments removes that platform for negativity it denies the trolls any visibility or attention or ability to leave unpleasantness so i'm effectively stopping them from commenting for me i feel slightly empowered by the ability to turn off the comments as i have done recently and i feel like it's always taking a stand against the toxicity i'm setting a precedent on my channel that hate will not be tolerated absolute zero tolerance of hate and unfortunately the rude and unpleasant comments that's now my dishwasher whistling at me telling me it needs emptying Unfortunately, the unpleasant and hateful comments have risen to a level that I, I'm not prepared to put up with that. And unfortunately, I do feel that I want to adopt an, or, or fortunately for me, really, I am now in a place where I feel comfortable in adopting an absolutely zero tolerance policy towards having to read unpleasantness about myself. I, I don't want to read it. I, don't, I have no interest in engaging with any of these people. If you don't like me, don't watch me. It's as simple as that. Absolutely. If you don't like my fashion sense, don't watch me. Not a problem. I won't be offended. But if you start telling me you don't like me and why you don't like me and why you don't like what I wear, that's not okay. You wouldn't do that in real life. And it's not okay here. I'm not prepared to put up with it. For me, zero tolerance is definitely the way forward. Many years on YouTube have also taught me that Hateful comments get inside our heads. And I know I'm not alone in thinking this. I have chatted to many other YouTubers who um, have the same opinion on this and get the same feelings and stuff. And the more hate you read about yourself, the more hate that is aimed at you, the more negative comments you get, the more it makes you shrink inside yourself a little bit. And the less you feel free to create the content that you want to create, even though you know the majority of your viewers enjoy it it's almost like insulating yourself and your personality and making it smaller and less 
all, all the things that you think people don't like about you, trying to make them less. And I've, I found myself a couple of years ago not wanting to give of myself. And you, you have to connect with people. Doing this, you have to connect with people. You have to show your personality. You have to be yourself. Um, it, it's just you, you can't be authentic. And it, I think viewers will realise if you're being fake and not true to yourself. And the hate muffles that to a certain extent so for me turning off the comments has given me more freedom to be more myself if that makes sense it's, it's hard to explain that but that, that's sort of how I feel about it I think a good way to explain it is say you don't feel constrained by the fear of a backlash and you are more happy to give of yourself and but more empowered to share your genuine thoughts that's sort of how I feel that and it, I feel like it comes across I, I enjoy watching myself back more in the videos where I'm not obviously feeling constrained than I do in the videos where I've been trying to make myself and my personality smaller and less potentially offensive to people I guess I, I don't feel like I'm explaining that one well but hopefully you'll sort of see what I mean now the number one allegation that you get when um, turning comments off is that it's no good for engagement and the algorithm and all of that kind of stuff. And for lay people, people who are not sort of au fait with how YouTube works, it's um, uh, with all social media, I guess, the more engagement you get, i.e. likes, comments, shares, um, all of that sort of stuff, the more people that the platform, i.e. YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or whatever, the more people YouTube, the, the platform will show your content to, therefore the more views you'll get and um, the more people will subscribe and all of that sort of stuff. Now, that's all very well, but the very first video that I turned comments off on which was a few years ago when I was again feeling in quite a vulnerable place and I wanted to turn comments off was a video where I tried, was trying on clothes from New Look, I think it was. And that is my video, with, at the time, it got more views than any other video I had ever made. Perhaps that was just a fluke, perhaps not, but in my personal experience, having the comments on or off doesn't really matter to the algorithm. If I was doing this just for the numbers and the channel growth, I'd have given up years ago. If my channel never got a new subscriber, I would be perfectly happy to carry on as I am. I make some nice money from it. I enjoy what I do. I'm happy with the size I'm at. I mean, if I get more subscribers, lovely. No, but you know, I'll be perfectly happy as well. But I genuinely, hand on heart, can sit here and say that it wouldn't bother me if I never got another subscriber again. I'm really happy at the level that I'm at, genuinely. Another point that I want to make about creating and managing a space free of hate, i.e. the comments are turned off, I think that can sometimes contribute to a healthier online community for all of us. I touched upon this earlier when I said that the negative comments are the ones that people latch on to and more discussion goes on under them in a good way, you know, because people try and defend me. Um, but I think protecting all of us from that negativity, none of us want to read it really. None of us really want to engage with it. So I feel like it's not just protecting me and my mental health, it's, create, it's protecting everybody from having to read that negativity. And unfortunately, the clothing videos are the ones that seem to get the most unpleasant comments on them. So I think that sort of brought me to the end. I think I've sort of touched on all the points that I wanted to make. I hope that's been... Um, enlightening maybe for some of you or giving you a little bit more background as to why I'm making the decisions I am around um, the comment section. It's obviously a very personal choice. Um, not everybody, not every creator will want to do that and that's absolutely fine. But I have to take control of my online space. I'm not denying people their freedom of spe speech. I am protecting myself and my online space from abuse. Um, but I want to ensure it remains a positive and healthy environment for all of us, for me as a creator, for you as viewers. I really want to keep my internet space as hate-free as possible. And I think that's it. I think I've said everything that I want to say on that. 
as I said I hope that was enlightening um thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye